Hmm. A crazy Jordy who took one team from Iceland, called IBV, all the way to the Conference League final. And won it. Hmm. Looks like an interesting story. But we've already done that. I wonder if James uh, got me a job in Switzerland yet. I'll give him a call. Martin Fussball again. Hey Jam, how's it going? <laughs> Let's see, her Gam here, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad, just checking on those applications I put in for those Swiss jobs. Yeah, yeah, I've got you a job. There's there's good news and there's... No, 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 it is, it's good news, I got you a job. Um. Oh great, so I take it Young Boys then? Young Boys? No, no, it's not Young Boys, they're doing really well. Okay, what about Basel then? Uh, Basel, I mean, they've fallen on hard times, but no offence, they've not fallen on that harder times. Either of the Zurich clubs? St. Gallen? Savet? Zurich, Gallen, Savet? No, no, um, I think slightly lower down. Okay, lower league. Schaffhausen then? Not Schaffhausen, no. Um, look, I said I'd get you a job in Switzerland, and can I do it? Have you heard of Vaduz? Vaduz, yeah. But they're in Liechtenstein, right? Yes, that is technically Liechtenstein, yep. I mean, they play in the Swiss system. You know, yeah, there is, yeah, there is a whole qualification for Europe thing. They can only qualify for Europe through the Liechtenstein Cup. Yeah, yes, yeah, you are correct. So if we win the league, we don't get into Europe. Yeah, if you win the league, you don't get Europe. Yep, but hey. The whole cup thing, I mean, you're basically guaranteed silverware. That'll look great, you know? I get that it's silverware, Jim, but it's the Liechtenstein Cup, not the Icelandic Premier League. I know, I know. Look, you, I mean, you said you wanted a challenge. Yeah, I did want a challenge. It's the Liechtenstein Challenge. Roll the title. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Jamie, also known as Game Legend, and on today's video we're going to be doing our FM24 introduction to our save on YouTube. And if you haven't guessed by that little sketch we did at the start of the video, we're going to be doing the Lichtenstein Challenge. Just wanted to say a quick thank you to GM Forts for his uh, involvement in the start of the video there. His links to his YouTube and Twitch will be in the description down below. Make sure you give him a like and subscribe on YouTube and give him a follow on Twitch. He's a great content creator. And if you are excited about this save just like me, please make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. So, what is the Liechtenstein Challenge? The Liechtenstein Challenge is possibly one of the hardest challenges on FM, if not the hardest. Liechtenstein itself is a small country situated between Switzerland and Austria, and it's mainly known for its medieval castles, beautiful landscapes, and of course, FC Viduz. Yes, FC Viduz will be our team we are managing on FM24. But why is the challenge so hard, you ask? Well, Liechtenstein doesn't have its own league. Instead, its clubs all play within the Swiss Football League system as guests. Therefore, they can't represent Switzerland as a team in Europe and cannot win the Swiss Super League. The only way Liechtenstein teams can qualify for Europe is by winning the famous Liechtenstein Football Cup. So the ultimate goal of this save will be to win the Champions League with FC Viduz. However, the problem with this is that we have to win the Europa Conference League and the Europa League back-to-back -back in order to get into the Champions League. 
Then, if we don't win the Champions League on our first attempt, it's back to the Conference League, and we start this whole roller coaster all over again. But does play in the second tier of Swiss football and are the only Liechtenstein team that are playable in the Benalla database. They have won the Liechtenstein Cup a record 49 times, and the only time this millennium they didn't win it was back in 2012. I will at some point be looking to take over the national side, but for the time being my focus will be solely on the does. So I've gone with Continental C for the coaching badges and as past playing experience I've just went with professional footballer um, based off what the does would suggest. I have also gone with the Continental C as the does, the game is itself of it does anyway has suggested that I would be a Continental Pro license. I don't think that's particularly fair. Um, but we are strong heavily on the motivator so maybe I should reduce that down a little bit and put the level of discipline a little bit up and then also maybe one into player knowledge let's go with that I think so we have been just announced as the new manager of FC Viduz we will be managing Viduz at the Rhine Park Stadium so let's get into it I've just been welcomed into the club by the chairman. We are a two and a half star reputational team with a media prediction of sixth. Our director of football is Franz Bergermeier. And then we also have an assistant manager, Walter Tomei. The club was founded in 1932. No specific rivals for the does. The club last season finished eighth in the Challenge League, which is the second division in Switzerland. And the we enter the Europa Conference at the first qualifying round. We have won the challenge league twice in 2008 and 2014 so it does look like you can win the challenge league you just can't win the main league in switzerland and as i said earlier we have won the cup 49 times the Liechtenstein cup so we do play at the rhein park stadium 7012 capacity which was built in 1998 average training facilities adequate youth facilities and average youth recruitment we'll be looking to get those up as we progress in Europe, hopefully. Finances are looking pretty healthy, so okay. Transfer budget of £269,489. Wage budget of over just over about 43 k So the club is suggesting a 442, which is something potentially we could go, we could go with, uh, certainly. Uh, we only have uh, one guy on loan, which is Theo Golliard, I think. I believe he's on loan at our club, but I will I will double check that when we get to the squad. So the president wants us to make the most of set pieces, sign Liechtenstein players, which is going to be hugely important, and play counter-attacking football, which is probably something we can do. Uh, we want we need to spend the original transfer budget, so we, we do need to spend that this season. Or oh, it's favoured anyway. Work within the wage budget. Uh, the board do want us to record a top half finish in the second league. Win the cup, obviously, we must win the cup. And then be competitive in the Europa Conference League. So if we can get to a group stage, because the league stage hasn't come into effect yet, that comes into next season, I believe. Um, so if we can get into a group stage, that would be fantastic. Uh, work towards becoming the most reputable, reputable team in Switzerland. And work towards developing the best youth team in the country. We will try our best to do that. Our contract expires in 2024-2025. And it's similar objectives in there. Make it for the playoffs. But hopefully we should be, we should be in the first division by then. But who knows? Uh, our support liaison has just provided some things, so sign Liechtenstein players, so we are going to have to sign Liechtenstein players. I will talk about what I'm going to do with the sign-ins in a minute, and then obviously finish in the top half. And be competitive against St. Gallen if we play against them, so St. Gallen might be our little bit of our rivalry. We will of course meet the media, we won't arrange an inter-squad friendly. So we've got a number of players who are due to leave on a free next season. This seems to be the bulk of our squad. So this is the squad and I'm just going to go through a few of the key players as well as a couple of the young talents. Uh, the first guy we have is Lorik Amini, who's a Kosovan, ball winning defender, looks like it's going to be a, a more of a DM sort of role, um, but overall good determination, strong work rate, I do like that. 
to be honest, I could see him more being in a in a um, I could see him more being in a centre midfield role. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to go with a DM. But we've then got Sefadin Chabi, who's probably our best striker, looking more towards a pressing forward. He is six foot two, but he can also play as a target forward as well. He's got ten heading as well. Advanced forward that could work really well for him, along with a poacher. And he has been capped at under 19 level, but has never really made it in terms of Austrian national team. Next, we've got a 25 year old Liridon Berishia, who is a Swiss national as well as Kosovo national. Looks like a decent, okay centre back. Um, nothing too outstanding. Can play as a centre back on cover, but could do a job in defence as well as a ball playing defender if we wanted to go a little bit adventurous. The only thing that does worry me a little bit about him is he does not enjoy big matches, but he can play on the left. He is left footed, weak foot is right. Then we've got Tunahan Sisek, I believe is a creative midfielder. Uh, can play on the wing as well, um, definitely is a wide playmaker, but also as a winger and can play up front. Looks like a good overall player, um, has been at the does for a few years, so overall, all good. Then we've got Tim Varian, who is a Finland striker, he's played for them 13 times. Um, looks more of a target forward than the previous forward that we had. Six foot three, yeah we could potentially be looking at hoofing the balls into the box for this guy. My only worry at the moment is he hasn't scored a goal from the does all of last season. And we've got another striker here, Fabrizio Kavgen. Little poacher. Has only just signed from St. Gallen, but looks alright. Is a regular starter at 20 years old. Somebody potentially down the line that we could develop, especially with that natural fitness being 14. We've also got Dejan Dojic, who's played for the club for quite a while now, since 2016. Uh, looks like an advanced forward, six foot one. We had, we do seem to have plenty of forwards that it does, so that is promising. Um, if we do, do need to go desperate in the last twenty or so minutes and put three strikers up front, we definitely got the uh, potential there to go all out attack. And our final regular starter is Ford Rahimi, uh, another Kosovan uh, player as well. We've got a few of these in the team. Looks like an okay central defender, but does worry me with the big matches. Um, has been at the club for five years though, so uh, definitely somebody we can look at and hopefully rely on. The club's captain is Benjamin Buchel. He's been at the club since 2018. Looks like a decent uh, goalkeeper. We won't be employing a sweeper keeper at the moment. The only thing that worries me about this, uh, this guy as well is his big matches. And I've just noticed down there he did play for Barnet, Oxford United and Welling United. So this guy's been around. Sandro Weiser, another key player for the Does, been at the club for quite a while. I do like his free kick taking and the ability to play in more than one position. Doesn't like big matches again, that does tend to put me off players, but we will need him um, with that Liechtenstein core going forward. We then have Alessandro Carucci, who's our main right back um, in the defence. I think he potentially could be our only right back or our only right back of quality. Um, has had one spell already at the does but did not get a game and seems to be another player that we've seen from St. Gallen um, could potentially look at maybe making him into a winger or um, an attacking fullback um, he's not one for the marking or the tackling anything like that also another one who doesn't like big matches so potentially a right back looking at getting in during the summer window. Nicholas Hasler, another key player for us. Unfortunately, he is out with crucial ligament issues for 14 to 15 months. So this guy could be uh, potentially making way in the next two years or so. He is here until 2025, so we, we, we won't lose him uh, this season. But can play in a lot of positions from the looks of things. So hopefully he comes back better um, from his injury. Hopefully. And as I was saying in the start screen, we do have Theo Goliard, who is on loan from Young Boys. Looks like a very decent player. Um, on loan until 2024, but could fill that advanced playmaker role. I wanted to show you a couple of our breakthrough prospects. 
Uh, we've got Ryan Fossil, who we've just signed from Young Boys. Doesn't look particularly great in terms of the physicals, however, I do like his ability to tackle and his technique, so that's something we can improve on. Then we got Fabian Stober, who was our left back and probably going to be our main left back for the season. Hopefully, we can tie him down to a long term deal, um, but does look very good potential wise. Just wanted to show you a couple of players that are in the Vidos 2 team. So we've got Ardit Destani, who is a young Macedonian player, 19 years old, got a lot of potential. Uh, as well as that, we also, as well as that, we've also got Nico Helbock, who is an Austrian striker as well. We do seem to have potentially a lot of strikers, which is good going forward, and we do seem to have signed these, a lot of these from Saint Gallen, which is quite interesting. But good determination there as well for Helbock. Gabriel Forza, who's probably going to be the backup to our main keeper this season. He's been at the club since 2017. Simon Lutchinger looks very good potential-wise. Um, somebody that I could see potentially going forward in our midfield. He's got a lot of work to do, but he is only 20 years old. And finally, Matthias Grob, but not particularly good as the last keeper we had. Um somebody potentially we could look down the line to use maybe um, but that is the basis of the squad so now that we've gone through the young players and the key talents that we've shown you through there i think we're going to go through and have a look at the tactic so i think i'm going to go with a 442 for the start of things um i might switch this around to a 4411 because we've got a lot of good attacking midfielder players that can play in that role um, potentially we could go to a 4-2-4 um, because we've got good enough wingers to play there as well but I think um, with the added height we've got in attack that wing play will be really beneficial to us um, so we're going to give that a try we also are doing this in our Twitch save we are doing with Lior at the moment it's working really well so I'm going to give that a try I'm now going to show you through the schedule so we've got Hegelman as our first opponent in the Europa Conference. They're from Lithuania. And then we've got a game against Sion and Fun in July. And then we roll in August against Ville, Stad Noir, FC Baden and Bellizona. I think I'll get back to you when we start the Europa Conference League game against Hegelman. And we will go through any transfers that we've made in terms as we do have quite a little bit of budget and move around with with the 269k and a free game in the wage budget um we are probably going to have a look at Liechtenstein players but i think to progress we're going to have to sign foreigners because the Liechtenstein players that come through in the intakes um and that are in the other teams aren't going to be as particularly good um for where we want to get to finances are looking okay as well we've got a million in the bank Hopefully that can increase with the Europa Conference run. So everyone, the time has come and we do have our game against uh, Hegelman in the Europa Conference League. So I said uh, just a few moments ago, I said we'd look at the uh, tactics and the, and the transfers. There hasn't been any transfers that have came in. Um, I do have a lot of players on trial at the moment. Um, we are potentially looking at bringing someone else in um if i look at the registration rules for the league anyway um we do have the option to bring one more player in well, we've gone with a 442 it looks like they're also going to play a 442 so it's going to be a, a brexit style battle maybe but let's see how we get on so we're in the dressing room and i say this is the match we should be winning i've got faith in you to the boys to all of them and here we go with our first match on the channel and here we have our first Europa Conference League match. Let's see how we get on. So kicking off first. I wonder if it's going to be a long ball versus long ball uh, challenge here. It's a good start for them and it just goes straight over. Come on, let's see if we can get a chance on this. Chabby. Long ball into Sisek. Doesn't really go anywhere. Kavgin. Hadzi. Krauchki. Emini. Pfizer. Chabby. Ah, it's just deflection. Corner though, we'll take that. 
We will definitely take that. Still over the corner. It's all up in the air. It doesn't lead to anything though. Back to Stober. Barisha. It's a sec. We're getting close. Fortunately, it's a foul. Definitely getting a lot of chances. I thought we would use our aerial height to our advantage, but obviously not. It's very even at the moment. And you bit plays it in or any. That was the closest chance they've had. I was going to do a quick encourage there, but they've had a chance, so. Tap from Liza. Didn't know where the ball was going to go there. It's going to do a quick encourage now. Probably at the wrong time. Ah, uh, it's a goal from Ar Armalas. One little of them just before our time. Do they deserve it? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. I think they've been a bit better. Maybe it's a shake up we need. Yeah, 7 to 3, where we've had 6 to 1. I'm going to go cautious, even though we are 1 0 down. That was a good chance from Hadizzi, but he just doesn't do anything from it. It's a bit frustrating, that. Um... I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed with you. Um, defenders, I'm not happy. Midfielders, I'm definitely not happy. And strikers, yeah. I'm so furious with your finishing. I don't think your finishing has been particularly good. It looks like they've brought on a sub. Let's have a quick look. It looks like it's a, a midfield change. I'm just going to leave it as it is for the time being. Great ball into Chabby. Should be taking advantage of that. Come on, crouch key with a corner. Batting a Rami, Emini. Doesn't really lead to anything, unfortunately. Might have to have a look at changing the uh, wingers around and the strikers, I think. Because we're struggling to create anything, really. Um, it's going to bring Varian on, I think, as a target forward. And do you know what? I also think, even though he's injured... Georgic, yeah, as well. Um, I've not been particularly impressed with uh, a dizzy. It might be Fabio Fair. I think it will be, to be honest. And then also, I think what we'll do is we will take off Isik. Do we bring on Isik for him? Stamina is not great. Concentration, I don't like, is really bad. Um, I think it's going to be Gasser, I think. Just say they've got a chance to make a, a difference there. I just think we need something else in this game. We need to at least go to Lithuania with a goal, so. Otherwise, this uh, season's not going to go off to a great start, and it was nearly 2 0 there. Not playing safe at all. Isa, Georgic, nice ball into Vianen, nice get in. One nil from the finishman. Lovely header as well. That's what I was trying to go with with the the wing play. Just that we've got really tall strikers, over six foot. If we can find balls in like that, keepers are going to struggle against us. Deserve it. We deserve it for the second half. We'd be much better. And I'm going to go. 
positive now. Even though I'll probably regret that. Good save from Bootwell. Just tipped it over. Four minutes of added on time. Bukel with the ball. Is this a highlight to ourselves? It's a long ball. Jogic. Oh, so unlucky. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm struggling to pronounce his name. You'll find that a lot in this series, so don't worry. I think it's Jogic. It's a decent ball in, but just never really... Nothing really materialised there. Gasser with a long throw. Varian trying to get it. Now we're on the... Unfortunately, we're uh, on the counter. Ah, damn you, big. Nightmare. Just before the final whistle as well. Just hit on the counter. And Ramini, Rahimi, sorry, just, just not doing his job. Well, it would have been nice to go away, away with uh, a draw, but it's not the case, unfortunately. That's gut wrenching. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm not happy with the performance. Um, we weren't good enough. Yeah. Wasn't a good performance. Yeah, wasn't a good performance. We didn't turn up in the first half. Um But yeah, there's um there's certainly there's certainly a lot we can um, improve on. Maybe when we go to um maybe um maybe when we go to uh, uh Lithuania we uh, play a little bit more and go for it. I'll see you in a few moments and we will be back for the away leg in Lithuania. So we are back guys for the second game in the Conference League qualifiers and we've had some injuries since the last game um, which will affect the team a little bit. We've also saw the player um, Stefan Steshapovic has gone to um, Norway to Stormers uh, Godset. Um, just for two grand. Um, in terms of us, though, I will just show you. We've had a few injuries, so we've had, we've, we're going to go for a four-two-four. I think in the second game, so we've had some injuries since then. So Sisek, um, which is five to two days, and then also Hadzi, who was our right wing. He wasn't playing particularly well in that game, but I've had to put a few uh, youngsters on the bench um, that don't particularly. Or not particularly great. Um, just showing you a few of them now. They won't feature in the game. Made some changes as well to the lineup. So Goliard's gonna play in the middle. I was a little bit impressed. Actually, to be honest, it wasn't necessarily that I was impressed. It's just I, I wanted to try somebody with a playmate, and I thought he did okay. Um, in that period that he was on, only a couple of minutes. Didn't really give him a rating. And then also, uh, Krauchke did not perform in that game. Don't know why. Maybe big game mentality. Uh, I don't know. But we've gone with Gasser. Um, mainly because Isaac is not really the ideal sort of fullback. But we might change that. But it's a little bit worrying that we've got a few fullbacks that don't particularly like big matches um, going into that. So. Yeah, I'll I'll have a quick look at the opposition instructions and then we'll get into the game. Theo Goliard's unfriended there, unfortunately. Um, the teams are warming up. That's not particularly great, what I want to say, but um, yeah, we need to ex we need to extract our revenge. I think that was what I said there. But let's give it a go. We are in Lithuania. Let's see how we can get on. Let's straight into it here now. We've gone with a 4 2 4. Let's see how we get on. We've gone with balanced. It looks like, again, they're getting a good start from the game. Like they did in uh, Liechtenstein. Let's see how we get on. Chabby missing the ball there. It's worrying. 
It didn't impress me very much in the first game. It did all right in preseason. Um, but here we are. Chabby with a long throw. Back in Gollard. It's bouncing. Berisher, can you put that on target? Is that not a pen? I'm very exposed here, but I thought that was a bit of a dodgy challenge. I'm not going to lie. Fair with the corner. Oh, unfortunately, unfortunately. I've been the better team by far, but we just haven't put our chances, unfortunately. I think I'm going to just be not happy with his. I think we might as well go attacking, I think. We've got nothing to lose. Tim Manhauer. Gasser, fair. It's a, not a bad ball in. Corner. To fair. Back to Gasser. What I think we might do, I know we are playing quite direct, but I might work with him to the box a little bit. Uh, they're hitting us on the counter here. It's not good. Thompson. All right, I think we might need a change in the wingers. And unfortunately, that is 3-1. That is game over. Or to Wenny, but I mean, what is Buchel doing there? Like, why does he need to come out this far? It's pretty embarrassing that, I must admit. Um, let's go with uh, Saglam there. We now need to win. We now need to win by three goals, don't we? Yeah. Or to take it to penalties. Um. We're going to have to leave it like that in terms of wing backs and stuff. Risha as a full back. Can he do it? I suppose he can. Inverted full back on defend. And then we get somebody in like Trabba. No, not Trabba. Probably a sick. Well, I don't know about that, I'll be honest. They're both very average. I think we'll go with Trevor just, just in case. Because Lichtenstein, so. I think we've been very unlucky in this second game. Got out with a free kick, though. Gassa, though. Got one back. Just under 24 minutes to go. It was an interesting free kick. Saglam. And then just a quick 1-2 two, two there. And then Gasset from just outside the box. Emini with a free kick. Saglam again. Oh, Georgic! Ten. Lovely stuff. We turned it around. We're now back to 3 3, all square. Just hoof it into the net. Hoof it into the box. They can't handle it. <laughs> That's massive for us. If we can get to a second if we can get to a second leg, that'd do great for us. Come on, Gollard. Tim? Oh, him and then I think it, I think it might have been jo Jojic. I think it was yeah he just he just didn't tap it in. Got on with the freak with the corner sorry. Well it looks like those changes have made a little bit of a difference though which is really good. Um, four minutes to go. It's our highlight. Gollard. 
Jose Casa. Oh my goodness, I thought that was in. So are we going to extra time here or are we going to penalties? Not sure. Collard with the corner. Last minute. Chabi. Casa. Saglam. Oh no. Should have been should have been 3 1 that. Should have been 3 1. There's no fans here, like, is there? Not in that end, anyway. There's more over that side. Go. Casa. <sighs> Extra time kickoff. Keep working hard, I suppose. Um, We've got three substitutes we can use. I need to have a little bit of a think about this. Um, Gas is playing really well. What I might do... What I will do is I will put Crouchy on that side. And what he will be is a full balance of support. I think he can play there. I think he can play there, wing bat and support, so we'll do that with him. Um, he's nervous, Chabby, but there is literally nobody else I've got on that left-hand side. What I could do... What I could do is, potentially... Is I could put Tim... Tim Varian... Surely he's got to be a wide target forward. If I stick him on the left, okay, he can't cross, but that's not the end of the world. Right, he definitely cannot cross. If I stick him on wing, winger, sorry, winger attack, on bounce, support, yeah, okay, let's do that. I know it sounds about a bit bat crazy to put him there, but we've got two other guys that can do that sort of job. Um pressing forward, I'm not sure on that. That will leave us with one sub, so I think that's okay. But extra time. Probably not going to help us in the uh, in the league campaign because we've got a game against Sion coming up next. Don't have the crossbar there. Right, come on, can we counter Georgic? Surprised to see him out wide. Traber. Vaisa. Aglam. Kievgen. That's a pen, surely. I mean, he didn't get the ball. He didn't get the ball there. I'm not sure who our penalty taker is if we do give get a given as a penalty, but it should be. It is. We've got plenty a lot of we've got a lot of players that can take it. It's gonna be Tim. Farkrim. And he scores. 4 1. 3 1, sorry. I thought it was 4 1. 4 3 on aggregate. Variant. Let's settle down a little bit. Positive. Turn this around massively. Just looking at centre backs, maybe we make a sub at half time. Just with energy levels and bring on Isaac and just say to him, like, look, I need you to do a job. Um, I think, though, what we do is we put him on cover. Um, and what we might do. Is King Goliard? Yeah, he's gonna have to play there, I think. Oh no, we'll leave it. We'll leave it as it is instead of going fully DM. I'm just conscious we've got the game against Sion coming up in like two days, and it is important we do well in Europe in these like sort of early games. Because the only way we can get in is through the conference sort of uh, qualifiers. Unlucky there. 
from Tim. We can definitely do it as a wide target forward, which is interesting to see. Jozik, that's it. That's game over. I can't see them scoring in nine minutes. Let's go back to balanced. We definitely enjoyed this 4 2 4. Vary and them just making an absolute pain of himself. And Jozik just sneaking it in. Maybe we get one more highlight. Varian could have got a heart right there. Big Tim. Big Tim Varian, that's what we'll call him. I'm not a massive fan of Bukel making all those uh, saves like that, I must admit. Right, we have conceded. Makes it a little bit more cagey these last three minutes, but I did say I didn't see them scoring, didn't I? Come on, man. Need to learn my lesson and just not say stuff. Damn fit. Right, luckily we've got a corner. What I'm going to do now is we're going to go a little block and we're going to waste time. And this is concerning. This is very concerning. Can we give away a corner? Can we see it out? Can we see it out? Keep us in the box for them. Good catch from Brutal. Done it, lads. And lasses. We've done it. We've made it through. Thank goodness for that. Made it through to the next round. Who will we get, though, is the next one. But we've overturned it. Win the Europa Conference League. We've got 85 grand for that. Which is okay. Not great in terms of the finance. So the fun game is rearranged. And for those, we will get CSK 1948 Sofia. Going to play a team from Bulgaria. So that's going to be fun. They are a little bit better than us, I would say. So there, guys. A big victory in Lithuania. What more could you ask for in the first episode? I'm really pleased so far. So hopefully uh, hopefully we can do the job in, uh, in Bulgaria against CSK. That will be the next video. If you've enjoyed the video, please do make sure to give me a like and subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. And I hope you are looking forward to the save as well as I am. Take it easy, stay safe, bye everyone.